Can't believe you haven't fired him yet. You gotta watch him. He may steal from you one day. Come on. He's a good guy. He's just working. Don't say I didn't warn you. I gotta go now. You're being ridiculous. Miss Olivia, it's, uh, it's all done. I hope you like it. Wow, it looks great. Come on in, let me grab some cash. Oh, thank you. I bet you're hot. Yeah, it's hot out there. Here you go. Oh my God, so much, thank you so much. It's been really rough lately, thank you. You're so You know what, why don't you plan on coming back in a few weeks? I'm sure I'm gonna be mean more help, so. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be seeing you in a few weeks. All right, sounds good. All right, thank you. All right, you have a good day, okay? okay you too. All right, bye. Hey. How are you? Good. I'm so glad you're back. All of these shrubs, they've grown like crazy since you were here last few weeks. And I was wondering if you could get them trimmed. Absolutely. Uh, all right, well, I'll be inside waiting for my brother. He should be here in a little bit. But let me know if you need anything, OK? OK, yeah, for sure, will do. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. I thought you might be thirsty. I don't want you to get dehydrated out here. Oh, oh thank you. Sure. My brother just called, and he's running a little late. So um, is it OK if you just sit with me for a little bit? Yeah. I'm Absolutely. starving, and I was going to eat a snack. But <laughs> anyways, um, I feel horrible. But what is your name again? It's OK. Uh, my name is Leo. Leo, it's really nice to meet you again. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Glad to meet you. Yeah. Hey, sorry I'm late. Jacob? What are you doing with this guy? Jacob, stop. I told you to watch out for him. I'm surprised he's still working here. Jacob, you're being so disrespectful. He is my friend. He's helping me out a lot around here. Yeah, you know, it really is okay. I, I should really go back and get back to work. Oh. Yeah, you should be. You know what? Let's knock it off. He was sitting with me while I was waiting for you. Yeah. Let's go anyways. Bye, Leo. See you in a few weeks. Have a good day, Miss Olivia. Bye. Knock it off. Hi. I got you some food. I thought you might be hungry. 
Oh, thank you so much. Why don't you come sit in the shade? Might be more comfortable to eat. So, uh, tell me, in your spare time, what do you like to do? Do you have any hobbies? Spare time? I don't have much spare time. I'm, I'm working all the time. Uh, my hobbies, though, I like looking at the stars at night. Oh, is that what you usually do when you go home? <laughs> A home. Uh, I don't have a home. I sleep in my car. Mm -hmm. But the great thing about the stars, you can see them from anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, though, I'd say my other hobby is playing with dogs. I love dogs. Mm -hmm. And I actually, I want to go to school one day and become a veterinarian. Oh, I can tell uh, you have a you have a great heart. And uh, what um. Tell me about your family and friends. Well, um, my parents died when I was very little. I lived with my uncle for a little while, but then he kicked me out. Uh, and I've been on the streets ever since. And friends, uh, I don't have any friends. You know, I'm still living on the streets and most people don't want to have a friend that's living on the streets. Hey, what about me? I'm your friend. Listen. I can't imagine what you've been through. And I know that life it, it can get hard sometimes. I, uh, I, uh. Are you okay? Olivia? No, I don't. Do you need water or something? Something doesn't feel right. I'm gonna call 911. Hello, hi, uh, can you guys send somebody, like right now I've got a lady who's passed out, she's not responsive, she's not waking up. Uh, can you send somebody right now, please? How's she doing? Well, she had a severe heart attack, but she's okay. She's stable now. You should thank her friend for saving her life. If he didn't bring her in when he did, she wouldn't have made it. Her friend? Yeah, the guy in the waiting room. He came with her. What are you doing here? I brought Olivia here. Well, thanks. What, are you some kind of superhero now? You probably did something to her. No, dude. We were having lunch, and then she started feeling sick, so I brought her here. Like, excuse me, sir. Are you staying here with her tonight? No, I can't. I got things to do. Oh, man, don't worry. I can stay with her. You probably should leave before I call the police and tell them what you did to my sister. I, I didn't do anything to her. I promise. She she's my friend. Yeah, who are they going to believe? You or me?
Hello, hi, it's, it's Leo. Uh, I got a note saying I should call this number. Hi, Leo. I'm so glad you called. I've been trying to get a hold of you. There's something I need to tell you. It's about Miss Olivia. Can you meet this afternoon around five? Y yes, of course. But is Miss Olivia okay? I gotta let you go now, but I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Hi, Leo. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Let's go inside. Where's Miss Olivia? I'm... I'm sorry to tell you this. I know you and Miss Olivia have become close friends. Unfortunately, Olivia had passed away. Her heart issues worsened and she didn't make it. What? I, I don't believe it. I'm so sorry. The reason we're here is because she made it clear on her will that she wanted you to have this house. She even left this card here for you to cover all the house bills and other expenses. <laughs> she even paid for your veterinarian school. She said you love dogs. Yeah. Here. Hello friend. I hope you are doing well. If you're reading this letter is because I am gone now. We haven't seen each other in months, and I'm so sorry this is taking you by surprise. I wanted to reach out, but I haven't been feeling well. My doctor says that I'm recovering, but I know that I am not. I feel worse every day, and before something else happens, I need to arrange a few things, such as my will. Friend, this home is now yours, so that every night when you return from work, you can have a roof over your head, I leave you a card with enough money so that you can live a comfortable life without any financial worries. I'm sure that you will make good use of it. You are an amazing person with a great heart. Never forget that. I have also paid for your veterinary school so you can turn your hobby into a career. I didn't get the chance to thank you before for being my friend. I will always be grateful for that. I love you, my dear friend. Sincerely, Miss Olivia.